my mother, who was a very devout Mormon, never drank, and she was dead at 46. Damn, I'm um, so sorry. Breast cancer. Like, oh, oh my God. It's such a crapshoot. So like Thank you. Yes, you really, it totally is. You really have to live your life. And like I could live like a monk. Yeah. But like why? Like no. you have to live the life that's worth living to you. A hundred percent. That's why I have a brownie or something every day. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, with lots of sugar in it. And I'm so happy. And I get my little sugar high. You I'm do what you have to do, man. I know. And everyone who's like sugar causes cancer, like, I want you to really dig into the research. Because like, yes, there are things that are like, and alcohol is probably the clearest link between like recurrence and cancer in general and whatever. But Yes, like, and processed meats, those two things, apparently. Yes. But yeah. it's with sugar specifically, like I've dug into the research and it's like, it's there's not not a connection, but it's not like everyone that's like sugar feeds cancer, like sugar feeds your cells. That's what your cells. That's right. Eat. We need glucose to be able to move, right? As an athlete, you know that, right? You and need when that's like, available. Yeah, cancer will eat that glucose. Yep. But that's not. <laughs> that's not what's going to cause it. And also, cancer cells are scavengers. Mine fed of my estrogen, progesterone, then the protein in my cell because I'm HER2 positive. I'm sure my glucose pills because I have hypoglycemia, so I pop glucose pills at times. I'm sure they fed off even the plants I ate. I don't yeah. know, girl. They fed off of everything. Why was your cancer so hungry? I don't know because I'm hungry. Maybe they mimic me <laughs> <laughs> like that bitch is hungry. I'm, I'm going to eat too. But no, um, I, I don't know. I, I really I have no idea why I'm triple positive, for example. Yeah. Why? Because you're a positive person. <laughs> That's a great answer. Thank you. <laughs> and now, were you were you estrogen positive too? Yes. So you're taking like the hormone blocker, right? Yes, which I hate. I was in menopause for five years, and going into menopause was terrible. And then coming out of menopause, it was and like I was it in again? middle school again. <laughs> Yes. No, I, I feel you. Trust me. I know what you're saying. No, it's a bitch. It's like you get the hot flashes, joint pain. And girl, if now when the I joint stand up, pain oh is God, when I stand, and the muscle pain, it's like when I stand up, I'm like, oh, like I, I when I went on vacation with Heather, my my bestie who took care of me, we went on a trip to Mexico. A friend of mine owns a peninsula and he invited me to, he has six properties there. And one of the properties was amazing. And it had these like floors that weren't even and so i would walk i'd be like oh oh and she was like you remind me of my 93 year old aunt i'm like shut up <laughs> me and my grandma got up the same way it's like oh, no! sure it's gonna hold me cbd and marijuana is the only thing that has touched the like joint pain yeah for me and i also think that's residual chemo because chemo fucks you up yes it does oh my god it everything also my muscles are not i used to be buffed because you know i'm a swimmer i did weights and now they're bare they're like oh, we can't flex very much i'm like what happened to my arms yeah the, you know, rebuild, the rebuild is like it's so slow what is that years oh my god i was like yeah i'm gonna be a bodybuilder as soon as i finish radiation my muscle was like i don't think so <laughs> You know what? Start low and go slow. That's what I'm doing, girl. I'm doing that. I, I do personal training for other people. So I'm like, okay, I train with a friend. We we train online on Zoom. Like I'm the leader, right? The personal trainer. And we train. And she's also a cancer survivor. So we motivate each other and we do it. But girl, the muscles, I'm like, come on, really? What happened to you? Like, if I show you a picture of me, like I was doing this on a mirror. It was like, wow, girl, you got some guns. Now it's like, girl, you have fat arms. <laughs> uh, you and me should do before and after pictures because that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. So it also gives us a chance to, like, have sympathy for where people are starting from. Yes. Oh, we should you do that. Starting from a place of strength. Yes. Now we know what it's like to start from a place of weakness. And isn't that a gift? It. You know, I love that. I love that perspective because it is true. It and is true. We, Girl, and I used to do like martial arts, Krav Maga, three years. I was like, yeah, yeah. Now it's like, I don't think if somebody attacks me, I think I'm going to be like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't think it's fine. Yeah. I'll be like, ee! And they'll be like, oh, what's happened? Is that a mosquito? You know, like, 
feel anything because it's uh it's cancer so has taught me so much that I never wanted to know. Yes, I know. 